Uh, hi parents and welcome to uh, the first principles update video for 2021. I hope you've had a chance to find a good rest in the holidays. We're certainly excited about having everyone back and surprised how quickly we feel like we're back in the groove and forgetting that holiday that we've had. Uh, my name is Mark Larragie, I'm the principal, proudly the principal here at Livingston Christian College. I know there's quite a few families I haven't met. Uh, we've experienced a lot of growth which has been uh, wonderful. Uh, but we also know that with growth also comes challenges. And uh, no doubt uh, you've experienced our car parking challenges at the moment. Uh, now that building that we've got going on at the moment um, uh, is progressing and progressing nicely. I, I, it sounds like we might have the first half completed, ready to start semester two, but I, I'm not promising. It's just my hopeful wish there. Uh, but parents, as part of that, you can appreciate that we have lots of cars coming in and out uh, as the, the builders and the tradies are all doing their thing to get that building done. That coupled with the growth that we've experienced here in the college uh, means we've got car parking challenges. So we've just opened up a, another area at the bottom of, uh, on the northern end of the primary parking lot. Uh, so hopefully that'll ease a bit more pressure. Uh, we've told the senior kids if they could park right down the southern end at, uh, above the, the field that's next door to the college. So I'm hoping these things help it, but if you could just be patient, please, uh, as you've done in the past, uh, if we could model that patience to the kids, uh, that would be terrific. Got a couple of other things I wanted to share with you today, and mainly it's around our uh, new house system that we've just embedded in uh, across the college. We've started off in secondary, primaries uh, coming in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I've got a couple of visitors here to help me do exactly that and explain what this is all about and where it came from. Okay, so parents, I have here two of our secondary teachers, uh, Mr. Ridstein and Mr. Sillers, and uh, I, they're the ones who, who have driven this change, which has come out of feedback from the students and to try and generate some more excitement. But uh, I feel like I need to ask them. So guys, why do we do this? Well basically I've been at the school for about 10 years now and we've seen the school grow um, into the amazing school it's become now and one of the areas we uh, always talked about that we saw as something needed changing was the house culture and that was yeah. something that was a bit lagging. Yeah. Um, so basically Owen and I went around and we went and um, talked to students, talked to staff about what the current culture is like. Yeah, there were surveys everywhere. Surveys yeah. everywhere, yeah. surveys everywhere and we realised yeah that's something we really need to change so that was kind of um, where the initiative came from mm. and where we got the idea. To go yeah. to and the, the response from the surveys was overwhelming that something needed to change and this was the change that's been embraced. Yeah. Um, Owen, tell us about the, the houses. What's, what are they now? Yeah, so um, we originally named after four missionaries and um, we kind of thought that if we just, the house, they were so uneven, like the numbers. We had one that had about 130, another one had like 260. One house was always losing. Well, yeah. I had to. Um, so we thought we'd go in there and we didn't think we'd get buy-in from students if we just moved them from house to house after they'd been in a house for you know, up to 12 years. So we came to the idea, we were just throwing around ideas. We came to um, the Epistles of Paul as a new name. So um, while also keeping our current missionaries as patron missionaries of our of our um, new houses. houses. So yep. we've got the Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, and Romans. Yep. Um, and then, you know, Tim and I have worked out booklets to to go with it that explains the book, explains the yeah, verse. Yeah, yeah, They've excellent. all got a key Bible verse. And trying to really build in um, those, those epistles while also paying homage to our previous houses. Yeah. And there's a write-up yeah. of those missionaries in every yeah. house booklet as well. So. Yeah. And so all of this work, uh, the surveys, the, the thinking, the embedding it in, linking it to our faith uh, was all terrific. And then it really becomes, are the kids going to really buy in? Yeah, and that was the biggest mystery that we had. You yeah. know, you can um, yeah. call something by any other name and you don't know what you're going to get from it. Yeah. So, yeah, well, at that point, let me say thank you both very much for all the hard work that you've done. Because the next thing I want to do is get a couple of students in here yeah, and to see how your hard work came out in practice and what they so thought. Awesome. Good Sounds on you. Good. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay, uh, and parents, uh, so I've got a couple of students here uh, to tell us more about the houses and how the houses have impacted them. Resplendent in their senior jersey, so 
we know what year you guys are, but I might get you to introduce yourselves to the families. Uh, hey guys, I'm Marnie and I'm house captain of the House of Ephesians. We're currently in first place, by the way. <laughs> and I'm Kaylee and I am in the House of Romans, the best team with Mr. Sillers. <laughs> And uh, so obviously you've already started with the swimming carnival was the first thing that you had. Uh, from other carnivals where we put the new system in place, the new house system in place, did, was there any difference? Did you notice any difference? Well, there was like a huge shift, like everyone was joining in. Everyone knows the house chants because we've been working on them in our um, spare lessons. And it was just awesome to see everyone just participate and love life at Swimming Carnival. Yeah, yeah the, the energy was crazy. Like, you could just definitely tell the whole day that everyone was so hyped and so much better now. Yeah. yeah. And listen, I, I went to the carnival and dropped in for about an hour and uh, I could see it. There was a, definitely a, an increased uh, excitement there and an increased participation. So thank you to you for leading those houses. Please lead them. Keep leading them well. We and um, parents, another fortnight, I'll be back with another update. Thank Let's you. Go, <laughs>